Alrighty guys, as you guys know, I never, never do a single book review on this channel. But I could not wait to share this book with you guys, to chat about it with you, because let me tell you, this is an all-time favorite read. It is also my favorite read of the year, and it is a six-star read. And this book is Lulu's Cafe by T.I. Lowe. Welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and like I said, I just couldn't wait to talk to you guys about this book. I was not waiting for my mid-month wrap-up. I was not waiting to the end of the month wrap-up. I needed to chat with you guys about this book now. But before we get into what this book's about, the characters, you know, everything going on here, I wanted to preface this video by saying I know that even though this is my favorite book, it will not be for everyone. And when I say this, I highly recommend looking up the trigger warnings before jumping into this because this is a very, very heavy and very, very emotional read. This is one of the heaviest and most emotional books I've read ever. And I don't say that lightly. I also had a lot of people reach out to me as I was reading this telling me that they were not able to finish because of the graphic scenes. And when I say this, I mean violence. This is not graphic in the intimacy whatsoever. This is a clean and closed door read. But the violence that takes place, some people are not able to read and I completely understand that. So I wanted to put that warning out there before I went further into the book. And I am not specifically going to be talking about the trigger warnings because if you are like me and you go into books completely blind, we should probably look up the trigger warnings. But I don't want to spoil anything about this book for you because Tanya, the author T.I. Lowe, does an amazing job of keeping the synopsis short, sweet, and to the point. And I don't, like I said, want to spoil anything for anyone because you just need to read it. So anyway, what this book is about, we have our main character, Leah, and I know a lot of people probably pronounce it Leia, but because of her nickname, Lee, I am going to call her Leah, we jump into her story right from the beginning. So she has a very violent and traumatic past, and this past isn't just like what we see in the present day. She also struggled in her childhood, and that was very traumatic for her as well. She also has these people in her life that are just not great to her while she's going through her own stuff at home. And I don't want to get too into detail. Just know that she goes through a lot. She really does. So she is trying to escape this life and in the process of escaping, she goes through even more grief and loss and it is so sad. It is heartbreaking. It's heart wrenching. It's gut wrenching. It's, it's everything. And you feel all of the emotions and she just gets torn down and you see it and you feel for this woman so so much but when she's at her lowest she continues on to try to escape and she comes across Lulu's cafe and let me tell you when she found Lulu's cafe and went in she was welcomed and she was taken in and given an opportunity by Lulu who is the woman who runs the cafe she decided to give Leah a job and a place to stay and Man, did that change Leah's life. And in the process of this, we see Lulu and Leah and we see their relationship evolve and you see how just amazing of a person Lulu is and I'll get into that more later. But we also see another character, Crowley, and he is the local lawyer in town. He is also Lulu's friend, and he is very hesitant about Leah, you know, taking up this offer from Lulu and staying there and working in this diner. And he knows there's something going on with Leah, but he doesn't know exactly what it is. Like, he can't put a finger on it, but he is extremely hesitant. And... 
after a while you get to see like just these mutual interactions so Crowley will come into the cafe and Leia will be there and they just have these interactions just through passing and run-ins and having mutual people in common and then one day they have a bigger run-in and they realize that they really enjoy spending time together. Now Leah and Crowley both have these secrets of their own they're keeping so this is kind of a story of you know, do all wounds heal and do dreams come true? And I really, really love this story, but that's all I'm going to give as far as background to the story goes, but I am going to talk about the characters just a little bit more. So in talking about the characters, I know I kind of gave a little background, but I wanted to talk more about each character in detail. So we have Leah, our main character. Like I said, she has that very traumatic, very violent past. Her childhood was also not great. Then we also see her going through some addictive habits and like just habits that one goes to when they're going through something. I don't want to give too much away but she also deals with that and trying to resolve her issues without going to addictive habits and man does this woman go through it. I do also have to say that even though Leah goes through this violence and people are probably like, why did she endure all of this? I do have to say she is a very strong female character. And there were things that she did that were also just so smart. And you get to see the battle she has in her mind almost daily. And it is hard. It is hard and heavy and it gives you the perspective of someone truly going through this type of situation and you're like well why are you doing this but then you see why she's doing it in her head and then you're like you feel so bad for her and then like I said there are all of the emotions and you just immediately get attached to this character. You want her to do well for herself. You are cheering her on every step of the way. And literally, like I said, that connection is from the first chapter. And that is what I absolutely loved about it. And I can't get enough of this. Not only is Leah strong in that way, but you can also see her strength in her healing journey. And I absolutely love that as well. Now moving on, we have Crowley. Like I said, he is a local lawyer. He is Lulu's friend. We also see him and his best friend, who is Anna. And him and Anna have been friends since childhood. And Anna actually really likes Crowley and wishes they could be something more. But Crowley's like, I see you as a sister, that type of deal. And Crowley is just this gentleman. He looks after a lot of people in the community. He has a lot of people's best interest at heart. And I really, really, really enjoyed his character. I love how hesitant he was in the beginning about Leah coming and Leah being with Lulu and working at the cafe. And, you know, he's very protective over Lulu as well. And I love to see that relationship as well. And then another character we see is Lulu herself. And Lulu is running this and Lulu is running this cafe. Obviously she is the one who gave Leah this opportunity to work at the cafe and then also gave her a place to stay. And let me tell you, you could feel how God had worked for Leah to find Lulu. She's just this guardian figure and I absolutely love that. And then I also wanted to mention one other character in the book who really stood out to me. This is Mona and she is a nurse and she ended up working with Leah. I don't want to get into too many details about the relationship and how they met and you know what happened there but I want to say that Mona is a character that will touch your heart. She is so kind and loving and is very supportive and really 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 helped Leah and the thing she does could bring you to tears. So I wanted to mention her as well because to me she was a very very important character even though we didn't see her all too much. So I wanted to mention her as well but with the characters and the background aside let me tell you what I absolutely loved about this book. In case you can't tell there wasn't much I didn't love about this book. The first thing I want to say is that this book is extremely extremely fast paced. So we have a prologue in here. I should also show you. My little guide for my annotations but anyway we have a prologue in here and from the prologue from the first page you know that you're getting into a very heavy and very emotional read 
And then when you get to chapter one, the prologue gives you kind of like a little background. And then when you get to chapter one, you are thrown into this story. And you need to keep going. You need to continue on reading to see what happens. You're invested. Like I said, you're cheering on Leah. You're wanting her to do well for herself. You are invested. You are connected. And I absolutely love that about this. And it's like from chapter to chapter, you just want to continue on reading. I did not find a point in this book where I did not want to continue reading. I had such a hard time putting this book down when I needed to. There were times where the kids would wake up from their naps and everything and I'd be like, I don't want to put it down. Because I buddy read this with my friend Alicia, I even sent her a message and I was like, I don't want to put this down. Like, I don't want to do it, but I have to. But that is how this book made me feel and had I had the time I could have probably read this entire book in one sitting without a problem. Another thing I really really loved about this story, I didn't even mention this, this is a Christian contemporary romance. This is how my mind is with this book. I'm constantly just all over the place thinking about everything. It is a Christian contemporary romance for those who were wondering. But the way Faith is incorporated in this book is just so well done. Sometimes I feel like the Faith concepts in books and how it's incorporated can feel a little like pushy or like a little bit too much. This was absolutely perfect and I have no other words other than perfection as to how Faith was incorporated into this story. It was just so well done. And in case you guys couldn't tell, another thing I loved about this book was the small town and the community. You just get this comfy, cozy vibe from the community and you need that in this book. After the beginning, you need something to offset those feelings and this community does that and the amount of support this community gives people and the friendships and the connections and it is just everything. It's perfection and I absolutely ate it up. I enjoyed every single second of seeing the town and the community. Going along with the community, I also really enjoyed seeing the backstory of some of the community members and we get the backstory of also some main characters and I don't again want to say too much but seeing the backstories makes you realize that you never know what's going on in somebody else's life. You also get that in the beginning when we see Leah and what she's going through and how other people are treating her and you literally never know what someone else is going through and the way that Tanya incorporates that into the story and and the way she does it so well you weren't expecting to get the backstories you got and I really really love that as well it added so much depth to the characters and to this community and it is something that I think added a lot to the story and to wrap up this video I'm gonna to touch on something again that I've already previously said but I cannot reiterate this enough even though we get the violence the trauma grief loss everything that goes on in here that is very heavy. We also get hope and healing and kindness and support and friendship and love and just this cozy comfort. There is a little bit of everything in here and I love how Tanya wrote this book. I literally, guys, I can't say enough good things about this. Like I said, I know I know this book is not going to be for everyone. No book is, but for those of you who haven't read it and it sounds interesting, like I said, look up those trigger warnings. I would recommend picking it up if you are okay with the trigger warnings and giving it a go because it is just so beautifully written and the fact that it is clean while it has all of these heavy topics in here was mind blowing to me. And there was a point at which I thought there was going to be like an open door scene. And I really believe it was in the epilogue maybe. I was like, oh no, where is this going? It, it doesn't. It doesn't ever have an open door scene. The romance is completely closed door. And the fact that this is clean and closed door with touching on all of the heavy topics and all of the depth that's in here... It just amazes me. It just shows how well she writes and I have since reading this book picked up two more of her books and I will be picking up her entire backlist because I am just so obsessed with her writing and like I said it, there's no way this book could have gotten any better. I absolutely adore it. So 
highly recommend if you look up those trigger warnings. Guys, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but I want to make that loud and clear. Please look up the trigger warnings for this book. Again, I know it's not for everyone, but it was a major hit for me and I am so glad I picked this up. Thank you to Alicia for recommending this kind of on a whim this month. We both did not have this on our TBR for the month, but she messaged me and she's like, why don't we just pick it up? So we did and I am just so grateful to have found this book, to have found Tanya as an author, to have read this story and see beauty come from it. I think it's perfection. So if you haven't picked it up, pick it up after looking up those trigger warnings. And I want to thank you guys for coming along with me for this video. I know it is completely out of my wheelhouse for what I normally do. But like I said, I could not wait to talk to you guys about this book. But that is it guys, that wraps it up. I am done ranting about this book. But I want to know, have you read this book? And what were your thoughts on it? I always tell you guys, even if you have different opinions than I do, please leave it down below. I think it's so important to get a lot of opinions on a book because reading taste is so subjective and your comment may help another reader. So leave your thoughts and opinions down below. I can't wait to see them and hear them. Thank you guys for sticking with me for this video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you like this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for more bookish related videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I normally do not do single book reviews, but here we are. So that's it guys. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys so, so much and I will see you guys soon.